I thought maybe everybody would want to see us do our evening routine. Okay. We'll talk about it all the time, do a few shorts on it. So that we come out about what, 6, 6.30, something like that. And yep. Got to tuck the puppies in, make sure everybody's cool. And pet the kitty cats, make sure the chickens. they cooped up today because it rained. Oh, yeah, it has. Hey, I'm, I'm Grandpa Doss. I'm Grandma Doss. Grandpa and Grandma Still Doss Farms. Weird. Yeah, Grandpa Doss Farms. How about that? Oh, hi, kids. Now, we've been dealing with a little bit Miss Riley. You know, you watched the last couple of videos. Maybe the last one was Sunday night video. And, uh, you know, not doing so great. But I noticed today that she seems a little better. See her tail of wagon there? All right. There we go. Now, the first time we did this zucchini thing You're here, so what, about better. three or four times ago. Whoop. you got to keep it in your mouth. They didn't really, uh, they didn't know what to do with it, you know. Okay, got it. Rebel, there's zucchini right here, buddy. Come here, look here. They eat that one. Here. They will. Here, you want that one? Now, you got to stay up here. Eat that zucchini, that a girl. They do like it. I think it's just they got it, they're, they're pretty excited right now. Here. They're just real excited. And now they're. I sit down there with you, buddy, but there's goat manure everywhere, partner. Yeah, I'd rather partner. have her up here, because once they get that stuff all over. Why? Huh? You'd have to pick her up. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not going to do that. She's doing okay. She's she's all right. They're, it's cold. It's, it's it's ice cold. They like it. It's nice and cool. Let them. Yeah. They're fine. He wants another one. Yeah. Where is it? Where are they? These are big. Yeah, those are, those are good ones. Thank you for not taking my finger off. Well. <laughs> yeah, you better be careful. He thinks you're going to take it back from him. I know. And he just grabs it. Riley wants another one, honey. She's done. Okay, hang on, honey. There you go. Here, yeah, she's getting around a little better today, believe it or not, folks. She is. You know? If we could get her up here, we could keep it out of the dirt a little bit better, but... It's okay. They don't They don't mind. A little, little dirt don't, don't bother them dogs. Here. Is, this, right is the other one still laying in the floor? Still laying over there? Yep. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky. You can have it, too. Yeah. Eating frozen zucchini. Good boy. What's Good next? Job. Caviar. Now you flattened it back out. Licking on it, yeah. <laughs> you get it. There it goes. There this it goes. You got two, two, or no, you got a bunch. Yeah. How, how much can they eat before they get a belly? Well, egg? that's what I was going to say. We may not want to give them all of them. What's that? Is that three a piece? That's three, no, isn't it? No, I think they've had more than that. Have they? Tonight? No, I see. I think they've had more than that. No, time. that's three apiece tonight. Yeah. She wants an, another one here. One more, and that's it. I can't get this all right. Yeah, what in the world's mm -hmm. happening? Got it? See, she's not that way. Hmm. Yeah, she's pretty. She's chill. She's pretty chill. She's pretty chill. But not the boy. Not, not the, the boy. boy. Is that good, buddy? Got it? Say good buddy boy. Okay. Good boy. That's a good boy. Oh, that's a good boy. They haven't eaten yet, have they? No, we gotta let them in eat. Yeah, we probably should well, yeah. <laughs> yeah. stop this. Yeah. We Eight do. pounds of zucchini. Now let's let them go. Okay, you guys hungry? <laughs> Are we hungry now? Let's go in here and eat your other food, huh? You want some dog food, doggy food? Hmm? Want some doggy food? Come on, you wanna go in here and eat, Bubba? Today I put their uh, fans back out here, and they get over here and they lay right in front of them. Come here, Riley. They like it. Want to come eat some food? Come here, let's take this and put it in your food bowl. Come here. Come on. Come here. Rebel's all about it. Come on. Break it in half, honey. I'll give him another one. Oh, okay. Here. She caved. Come here, Riley. She caved. There you go. Peer pressure. There she is, right here. Right there. Here, there's yours. You have one. We've left the uh, carpets in here and seem to be doing all right with it. Uh, no reason to take them out right now. I do need to sweep them off, but. They're not chewing on them or anything. They may not even eat any of their other dog. No, that's an empty bowl. There's three full ones, buddy. 
Oh, don't take sissies now. Don't take sissies, Keeney. Eat your food, Rebel. Rebel. Rebel, don't don't take her food. She already she's. Eat your food. No yep, more. She got it's gone. Gotta eat your food. It's gone. You tell them what we're gonna do here for them. Um, you go ahead. Huh? You sure? Yeah. Ah, you talk. Eat your food. I'm tired eat of talking. Food. Come I'm on. worn out. My tongue's tired. My lips are tired. Come on. I've talked all. She's she's I not listening to, to me. Come on. Eat so Batman come in here today. And he's part of the Batman is the issue. The others aren't yes. really. It's it's Batman, and and you know I don't blame Batman. He's doing what, you know. It seems to me I've watched several videos about people feeding their livestock guarding dogs, and they talk about sheep and goats and so forth. And everybody goes, you know, we got that one goat that wants to get in where the dogs are and eat their feed. And so uh, we've got that one goat, and that's Batman. You all seen him in action. Come here. And he's even Come even on, not getting any food. food. He likes coming here and getting laying up there and lay up there on their beds. You know, I've made videos about that. You know, and he'll run the dogs off. Yeah, kinda. You know, I think at some point they won't he won't get by with that. Anyhow, it doesn't happen all the time, all day. So what we're going to do is we're going to make one of those uh, livestock guarding dog uh, uh, gates, feed a feed gate, uh, food gate, and what we're going to do. This is going to stay the same. We're going to give the dogs only access to all this whole pen. Right. The goats won't even be able to get in here at all. I'm going to block this off right here. That gate stays closed, so it'll be a piece like this. Right. And it'll go right here. They'll access it right here. And what we do is we'll take and make, make a... Uh, the, the, what I've seen it works best when it's... Without having it professionally made, is you make a triangle like an 18 or 20 inch piece across the top then you angle it down here and it's actually a jump gate yeah. I guess the goat sheep they don't like to jump like that they jump but not like that so it will be about this high all right about like so so that our doggies not that's too high right there about right here and then they can they'll uh, jump over that and they'll have access to a whole bit right here, the, and the goats can't get to their beds or any of that kind of stuff. This would be their whole area right here. So we'll make that. Uh, make that. We're gonna do that tomorrow. We'll work on it tomorrow. Yeah. Because it rained all day, and then it's late tonight. We're not sure if she's gonna be able to do it yet, though. Well, so. you know what? That's right. That it. She won't be able to do it yet. But we'll still probably build it. And We're gonna build it regardless. See how. You know. you know, he might use it or whatever, but yeah, until she's able to naturally, we'll we'll just do it the old-fashioned way. But yeah, so we'll do that. It'll have an, it'll come straight across here, come down, come down. We'll build it first, and I'll cut these metal pieces out with my grinder, or snip them out and grind them down either way. So um, yeah, it'll be awesome. Anything else to say there, Ma? Nope. You good? All right. She is getting around a lot better. She's getting around better. I know. Uh, Believe it or not, folks, that, that is actually better. If they decide to not eat any more food, I may give them another zucchini or, so, or two. All right. Last night, she couldn't even bend over to get that drink of water. She couldn't even bend over and get a drink of water, folks. Yeah, I had to put that up on a brick for her to do that, but now she's, in, uh, she's having no problems. So that's a good sign. I feel real good about that. I feel real good about that. She still don't want to wrestle and play, but that's okay. Hopefully... Here in the next couple of days, she'll show a major difference. Let's tell them now. What'd you get? It's like a diaper genie, only it's a pooper genie. There's a genie in there? <laughs> <laughs> what? Yep, what? the genie's going to make the poop disappear. <laughs> you know, some people thought that you were getting one of those automatic pooper scooper removers, whatever that does. Yeah, I don't really know. What? I haven't read up on those. I, I just saw know. this and thought I would try it. Yeah, well, how's it work? Well, you scoop it in here, and it's got little bags in it, just like it did when you used to put diapers in it. The only thing I can't remember, I gotta read the directions. I can't remember if you put the poop in there first, and then you open this thing, and what, it goes what? down into the bottom. See, there's a knot in this underneath there. So you dump it in, uh -huh. pull that back, and it goes down, why? I think you pull it back, put uh -huh. the stuff in there, and then you shove this back Oh, in. okay. Then you close this. Does that bag go all the way down to the bottom of it? Well, it goes down as far as, like I pulled like a, almost a foot and a half. Okay. Tie a knot in the bottom of it. When it gets full, there's a little scissor thing down there that you can cut off as much as you need, tie it up, throw it away. Well, I have to tell you, I think that's way too complicated for me to use. 
You I don't. Just, you just dump it in there. I'm, I, I'm a man. I'll never be able to figure that out. Can you manage to get it from I can, here into I can, there? Can you I'll, raise the lid and just scoop it in there? Can you handle that? Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll I'll give it a try. Okay. I'll give it a try. Hey, you know, you. it's really however you want to do it. That That's my thing. So if you don't want to put it in there, you oh, want to use the Walmart bag. Oh, you don't now you're just again. using that there psychology no, on me there, lady. I don't care how you do it. You guys it. know, my hey, just so y'all know, by the way, we've never talked about it, but when grandma, she went to college. I did too, but... When, I took psychology just to handle you. She was six hours away from being a psychology major. Switched it to accounting. Like I said, the psychology But for 43 for years, plus a couple three, she has never forgotten how to use that psychology she learned in, in college, right? Yeah, I use reverse psychology. Yes, I know, exactly. <laughs> all right, I like your pooper scooper. All right. That'll be all right. I'll learn how to use it. Are you ready to go do some measuring? Yep. Well, you know what we need to measure? Tape measure. What did I do with it? I just had it in my hand. Oh. You kitties take my tape measure? Where is it? You gotta be kidding me. Where, did you guys see my tape measure? I kid you not. What did I do with it? Did you, did I put it up there on the... <sighs> I'm not Shannon, I didn't hide it. <laughs> Hang on. <laughs> Found it. If my head wasn't glued on, what's the old saying? If my head wasn't glued on, it, it, it uh, what? If heaven would glue it on, it'd fall off, or heaven would glue it on, I'd forget it. I don't know. Something like that. We got to measure. We're going to build the uh, jump gate over here, not over here in the mud, because I think we would have way too much company. You You're know what? feeling better. You're wagging your tail. You talking about her or me? <laughs> I feel pretty good, thanks. You going to go eat, Revel? Revel. Come on, let's go eat. He gets distracted easily. Go eat some food. He's like me. All right, chill, hun. Well, actually, all we need to do, honey, here, is just measure from there to there. From the T-post? Yeah, and I'll make it, if we make it like 82 inches long, that'll stick out a little bit here. You know, here's the kicker, the kicker to this whole thing, why we're doing all of this. Yeah. You, 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 and Mr. Your Batman. Point is. Yeah. See what's your point? See what's your point? Yep. Cause you're an ornery boy. Oh, you jealous? You jealous? You got you're redheaded. You know that? Does that mean you're just like a wild child? Hmm. That's a good boy, Fox. We gotta go do some work. Okay. You guys be good. Hang out with the boys and the girls. Hold on, I got an equal time. Hey, P Dub. Hi, buddy. You in the doghouse? She in the doghouse now. There we go. That's a good boy. All right, everybody's been pet. She's eating pretty good. I'm going to stand right here for a little oh, bit. Oh, okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and then carry this on up. Okay. All right. We measured this, and I'm going to take my cutters and I'm going to cut it right here. Okay. That should fit right in between those two T posts. Right. All right. But I'm not going to use my grinder. I'm going to use my bolt cutters because I don't want to scare, you know, our two guests here, our helpers. This is a good exercise. There we go. So here's what our plan was. And we're just kind of laying this out right now. I saw two online. One was 20 inches between here and there. That's pretty big. I, I don't think we need 20. And I'm going to make it as narrow as possible because Batman. Show me 18. This is 18 right here. That's 18 inches. Or wow. I beg your pardon. Right there. That's 18. Okay. And down here, you can bring it to a, a like this, and bring them together. And, he, you know, and then they jump through here. I saw one channel. He had to make his bigger. He had a pretty good sized dog. He put a 7 inch gap down here. I think we need at least a uh, six inch down there. About six inches, and then you know, if Batman gets through it, we could we'll have to redo it. Yeah. 
but I, I watched after the fact and and you know the sheep wouldn't get through it and neither would the goats there's something about jumping through it i don't know what it did they have a goat named batman no <laughs> they may not have had that goat all right so we're going to cut this uh, now my engineer here you're going to show me how to, i don't know how to make angles and stuff I'll, i don't even have a pencil i'll have to use a screw all right to mark lines i'll be back here we go now one thing you have to decide before you do this is how high do you want them to jump? One, one, two, three, four, five. Most people had it on the fifth one from the bottom. And, you know, you, if we put it down here, I know the Batman will, will definitely be able to get over that. Can you put it the top of it to, the, to mm, this? Like this? Uh -huh. You want to go like that and try yeah. it? Uh, -huh. uh, yeah, if he gets in, we can always get rid of him. <laughs> so, I mean, if you think about it, we're doing this all for, for him. I know. Okay, I need to get, can you put your, here, I got this. Can you hold that board right there? Yep. Just just in the middle, get your hand away from the, I'm just gonna, all right. just get it started. You got it? Yep. There we go, there we go. It, it, yeah, all, Wait, all I need. I don't got it. You're okay, as long as I get it started. Okay. Okay, are we, are we good right there? Yep. I don't wanna go to the ER today with a, Sir, how'd you do that? Well, how's okay. that? Are we good? Yep. Are you, are you clear? Okay. All right. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna put a screw in here and a screw in the other one. Out of screws. Careful. Thank you. Now that. That's good. You know, we moved inside because it started raining. Hey, I'm it, so hot. I don't care if it get wet. And it quit raining. Yeah. You're going to get all wet then. All right. And we moved back out here because it quit raining. Because it was hot in there. Now it's raining again. All right. So we got that. <laughs> I'm thankful for the rain. But, yeah, I grabbed my drill there. So, you know, I am thankful for the rain. But, you know, there goes the goats. I would okay, just yeah, talk me through this here. What am I would I say you're going to want to cut the wire out first because I think it's going to be too difficult if you go ahead and attach it to that board. All right, okay, uh, where's my magic marker, honey? Did I lay it over there? I'm going to make a little mark on each piece of wire where I need to cut it. Cut it here, I guess. You do it all the way down, huh? Mm hmm. Oh, you don't have to go all the way up. I'll just go right here. Okay. See if I got enough manpower to do it here. I always hate cutting stuff because once you cut it, I know it's, it's cut. But we've got this for stability. You, you're on this side, right, of the line? Yeah, the yeah. top one. Yep. Yeah. Oh, there we go. And the middle one. I'll grind that one down. No, we don't. Yeah, we don't have to come. Sorry, I'm stepping on it. Right there. Yeah. Well, she's a hole now. All right, now lay her back down. Oops. I think I hit concrete. It's all right. Let's stand her up. I'll stand it up. All right. Man alive. I could get an elephant through there. You know it? Or a camel. Do we need, is this going to be okay here? Or are we going to need to? I think we may have to put some short boards on there. But like you said, you're going to have to grind those down first. Yeah, let me, this this is, uh, I need to screw that in a little further. Have you got it? Hold yep. it. Are you okay? Yeah. There, you're good. You're getting wet. I don't care. Feels good. Now hang on. Are those fans okay plugged in? Oh, it's raining, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on. I don't want to fry any doggies. <laughs> Hang on a minute. We can bring that in here. So now what I want to do is I want to grind off these other pieces, don't I? So you need to be back here. You want me yep. on the other side? Trade me. Whoa! <laughs> I 
set your pants on fire? <laughs> I'll move over. Hang on. How's that? Look at that. Perfect. Yep. I want to know where you're coming in. I want to move well, my right fingers. Well, right where my fingers are. All right. I'll, 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 yeah, move your hand. I got it. You think if I make it through it, he can? I have no doubt in my mind you can make it through. I just don't see Batman. If he does this. <laughs> I'm touch my leg. Would you grab my leg? <laughs> <laughs> I almost had it. There we go. Ta-da! <laughs> oh my word! What have we done? Anyway, hang on, I gotta dust it off. Well, that looks pretty darn good, you know. Yep. So there is a jump gate, folks. Woo! Now we can install it, but you know we're not going to train Riley to go through it. We might see if what's his name. You know, we just want to see if the goat will. But we ain't going to do it today. Right now, it's raining. So all yeah. right. We wanted to do a follow-up on uh, Grandma's diaper genie. Is that what it's called? Yep. For kitty cats. So yeah, we've used it. So there's a bag full now. Is that it? Yeah. Somewhere there's scissors, and I don't scissors remember. Scissors well, come with it, or you? It's in here somewhere. <laughs> oh, and you just? I took. Because you had to get the bag. I took the um, instructions to the office. Yeah. Turn oh, so the bag just kind of rips out and seals yeah. itself. Yeah. So you don't have to. How, how did you expose that bag a second ago? I'll raise this up. And there's scissors. I think they may be behind this. Was this oh, so you drop that down. There oh, there are. they are. You put it in there, I say. Yeah. And then it's kind of like a... I need it long you, Yeah, enough. you don't, do you? To tie it off or what? Uh -huh. You don't want to waste too much bag. Oh, There's I two. bought refills already. Oh, look. It tells you. Scissors. Oh, oh, nice. A little sharp there. Yeah, you'll cut something off there. Oh, I see. Now you've got a... Didn't leave it long enough to, I but you know, you can use that, that you got to be careful. You use so much bag there. How are you going to do that? Well, I didn't leave enough bag there. That's a I problem. Know. But anyhow, a lot of people were talking about what system they use and all that, you know, and I'll be honest with you. I've used this. I like this, you know, I do too, but I didn't leave, leave like it long That's enough. right. I'll, uh, I'll put this in a bag. What I need to do. Oh, wait, Grandma's showing how to, now what do you do? Oh, you have to tie that off at the bottom now? Yeah, because that's what keeps it from going into here. Oh, okay. Got it. Because, yeah, when you cut that off, it makes it, it's just like a tube. Yep. Okay, I see. There we go. All right, well, you know, once you do it a time or two, it'll get really fast at it. So I, I kind of like it. I mean, yeah, you know, I'm going to, does somebody yeah. want me to send that to them? Give me your address and you can have that. <laughs> baby and mama oh it's good enough for now <laughs> i'm yeah. hot <laughs> yeah really don't worry about it all right so anyhow oh. we had several people tell us hey they use this they use that you'd love it but you know we could have three or four of them sitting around here heck that automatic one would you say it was over a hundred and some odd dollars the automatic one i they, have no idea where they go in are. and do it I themselves don't, I don't know how expensive they are yeah well we'll just teach them to come in the bathroom and flush the stool i got this really <laughs> nice gift from sharon and Ralph just told me I can't leave it on because you can hear the noise of the fan. You can hear it in the speaker. I, we always do a test and I can hear it. I can't hear it. <coughs> I, can't, <coughs> I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> That's how it sounds. So Sharon, anyway. thank you. Yeah. I appreciate it. Would you, can you show them the lights? Take it off and show them the lights. You know, it lights up. Yeah, I tell you what, what a great idea though. Cause it just if I hold it out here, can you still hear it? Well, your micro you're blowing it right. Your microphone's right there. I know where my microphone is. <laughs> <laughs> you probably can't. I'm just really enjoying this. I know. T turn How about on the that? Well, where's it blowing now? On my face. All right, folks. If you hear that <laughs> in the background, that's Grandma. So <laughs> <laughs> Grandma makes strange noises now. But see, it lights up. Got red and green and yellow. And uh, what a great idea! You know, and it's an awesome idea. Yeah. 
happen right now. I really need it. So. All right. Well, just do 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 your thing, and we'll talk around it. So if you hear the little noise of rushing wind. <laughs> it's grandma. <laughs> it's grandma. <laughs> yep. She's windy. <laughs> I'm okay with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, hey, I changed shirts because after we got done with that doggy door, man, oh man, I s worked up a sweat. I'm going to try not to change underwear, but I'm not sure <laughs> I'll get by with it for all day long. It'll never dry out. We were going to talk about some. Oh, we were going to talk about the name change because we thought everybody was, you know. Yeah, we want to talk about it again. This yeah. is only the fourth time. I'll well, let you handle it. Uh, yeah, we're going to just simplify it, okay? It had nothing to do with the boys or anybody being upset or not understanding why they weren't on the channel. What it was, Chad felt like because it was no longer just him and the two boys, Ray and Carter were now a part of the Doss family. He wanted it to be the Doss family. And because he's close to hitting 100,000, he gets a plaque at 100,000 and he wanted it to be the Doss family. And that's as simple as I can put it. So obviously we're a part of the Doss family. That's our last name. People were confused sometimes, thought our last name was Adler. So we're now the Doss family. Our last name is Doss. That's as simple as... Well, if you as think about it, because people were calling me Grandpa Adler. Yeah, there's only one other thing that I wanted to add. Everybody ha has had problems in their family life. We don't talk a lot about our personal lives. We don't talk a lot about um, our kids and what they've been through. And But nobody has had a perfect life. And... You know, our kids have been through some things. We've been through some things. And we don't answer questions for things that our kids have been through because if they want to share those things, then that's up to them. But, you know, everything that we've ever been through, God has gotten us through. And that's who we've relied on. That's who we've prayed to. That's, that's our source of strength. So we don't ever want you to think that we have this perfect life, but we have been blessed as a family but we also have had our share of heartache and things that we have had to go through just like you all have had to. But we just don't ever want you all to think that we are this perfect family that has never been through any trials or tribulations. We've had, you know, our children have had some fairly serious illnesses when they were younger. Um, we've had some things that we've gone through with our kids that have been fairly serious um, when they were younger and even when they were older. And, you know. You don't live to be 65 and have a family and live normal lives and pray to, to God who says you will have tribulations in your life which make you stronger and everything just go hunky-dory. Mm -hmm. It don't happen. And we have had our share. So there yeah. isn't anything out there that you all have experienced that I'm pretty sure <laughs> we can swap some pretty good stories. Yeah. We appreciate that, that, you know, we are a loving family. We are close. Don't get us wrong. When you say that, the DOS is a relationship, you nailed that. We love every, uh, uh, unconditional love, and we, we, we've been beside them 110% of the way. And well, they've been through some tough things that they've been right in, and we have supported them 100%, um, mm -hmm. some very, very tough things. And that's yes, what families do. Um, well, I'll tell you what, even if they were wrong, I may tell them they're wrong, but I got your back, son. I yeah. got your back. I got your front. Yeah. I'll be, I will be the first ones in front. I'll take the fire. I'll take the heat. Don't care. Yeah. But we appreciate you all looking at it. The comments are, oh, this family, you know, and you, again, I, I think Ray said it in her video, you all see just these little snippets of our lives. And sure, I'm not going to come out here and, and, you know, one of us had a bad day or something or something happened and we, that's all we talk about. We will share we will share things that, that go, you know, we have. Well, one of, we, this is a reality thing. You know, this is our lives. It, it ain't hunky-dory every day. But you guys just know that we are, we are just like you. <laughs> we are just like you. We have the same experiences. And in our 43 years of marriages, we've, you know, marriage, we, marriages, how many have we had? <laughs> We did, we've have never been. No, 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 Something no. No, 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 none okay. of that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah. So 
We've been there, done that. We've been there, done that, and there are good families out there. Every bit is good and better than ours, and, and relationships are great. And I and you love your kids, your grandkids, your great grand, great grand. I can't speak, great grandkids and all that. And so we're just folks, man. We're just folks. But those times that you go through, if you lean on God and mm -hmm. you depend on God, right. you come out that much stronger. Right. I'm not saying that there were times that I would want to go through again. I'm just saying that, you know, you come out stronger. Mm -hmm. And, you know. As God intends. Yeah. That's how it is. That's, yeah. that's God. That's what he does. Yeah. That's, how, that's, that's his uh, character. That's, that's, he builds character. He wants you to, you go through those tough times and depend on him. If, if everything was all smooth and, you know, it, roses coming out everywhere, then we wouldn't need God and that ain't how it is. And I did share with yeah, one yeah. of our uh, family members a time in my life that was real difficult when my dad passed away because he passed away suddenly. And that was the only time I can honestly say in my Christian walk that I was angry with God. And I felt like he made a mistake. Um, I didn't understand why, you know, my dad had to die that young and that time in my life when I felt like I really needed him. But I also knew that I was wrong, and you know, I hung in there, and I, I never, I never separated from God. I never, you know, allowed that to keep me away from God. But if you ever go through something like that in your life, just know that God is still there. He doesn't move away from you. You may move away from Him, but He doesn't move away from He's you. He's always reaching out. He's always His reaching out. His hand is always there. He's waiting on you. Yeah. Ain't God ain't pulling away. Yeah. You're pulling away. And I felt like when I went through eight years of um, the time with my mom when she had Alzheimer's, I realized through that that God showed me that taking dad the way he did suddenly was so much better than spending eight years with my mom and her not really being here and not knowing me. So, you know, I'm, I'm just sharing that because there are times in your life that you go through things when you realize, when you look back, that God can show you why and when you get to the other side and you look back you know um, you realize that maybe God was showing you something so you know without getting into a lot of that I just I just wanted you to know we're not a perfect family we've had our share of ups and downs too but just know when we say that we pray for you all we we do understand sometimes more than you think we do because we've not just lived this perfect perfect life you now, know. there are those of you right now going through some things that we have not yes. gone through with some loved ones, folks. I'm telling you right now, there's some hurting people out there. There are. Hurting people. So if anybody out there, if, you, if you're a praying person, please, just just a unspoken request. And, uh, yeah. th you know, there we've got some people right now in our DOS family, ex you all extended family, that need prayers need greatly prayers. and are yeah. faced f facing some very, very difficult times. Yeah. And makes, you know... Um, so and and we we will all face those times at some point and you know the older you get things things like that come about so yeah. remember you you i think for me in the christian walk you live life forward one day at a time but you understand it backwards yeah that's, god that's i, I, good I always it. always in a situation you're wondering what is going on where's god going with this and then something happens that you never planned on it wasn't the way you prayed and i always in my prayers with you know god i know I, I i want this and i want that or i ask for this and I, I don't want materialistic things that has nothing to do with that i just mean you know in general and then it always in my prayers and you know god your will be done because his is so far superior and better than what i want to be done so and you look back and you go wow i never even thought about right. that god i right. see what you've done exactly i see but how you work things out that's how God is. Everybody goes, well, I want to know the ending. Folks, you ain't going to know it. You yeah. aren't going to know it. God doesn't want you to know. There's some things we will not know. Just quit overthinking it. Like, you know, you drive yourself crazy. Yeah. Just live the best you can. Do what God wants you to do. And so I know it sounds easier said than done, especially when you're going through tough times, all right? That's the sermon for today, huh? Well... <laughs> you know, we I want, you know, this is another thing about our, 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 our channel, too, and the boys. And, and you know, if, if, if it's not, if you don't want to hear Christian talk every now and then, and, and Jesus talked about, and, you know, I, I've said before, my, the best way that I'm going to meet everybody is everybody just say, hey, Lord, I'm a, you know, 
I'm a sinner. Forgive me for my sins. Be the Lord and Savior of my life, and then I'll meet you in heaven. <laughs> you know, I'm getting too old now to beat around the bush. I don't know how people get through life without God and without knowing Jesus. I don't know. There are so many times in our lives that if I hadn't had God to rely on and, and my faith, I, I, I wouldn't have made it. I, I mean, I just, I don't know how people do it. I really don't. We just wanted you to know. We love you guys. We love you guys. We love you. We do. Thank you so, oh my goodness. Yeah. I, the, the, the things, yeah, we, we, words cannot say how unbelievable this is to us. I know. It really is. Every day, you know. And yes, we can get in routine. It gets mundane. I think, oh my word, I got to go down this, that. But you know, it's, I love those animals. I love those animals. And, and. Uh, right now, we are where we, we feel like we're supposed to be. This part so. keeps us going. The, the mm -hmm. prayer life, the people mm -hmm. that we know that are hurting, that we mm -hmm. can pray for, that we can reach out to, the emails that we get, man, that feeds us. That keeps us going. That's true. It's, it's, it's um, yeah. Thank you for watching, for the time it takes to watch us. When we say we love you guys, we really mean we love you guys. We do. Until next time. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.